Attack Brothers, in this video, we're going to learn how to find out how much memory is allocated to SQL Server instance. In this demo, we'll be learning memory configuration view of SQL Server. Number two, currently allocated memory in SQL Server. Number three, how, how to configure minimum and maximum memory in SQL Server. So there are multiple ways to find that how much memory SQL Server is consuming or is allocated. The question up here is that uh, let's say that you have allocated some sort of memory to SQL Server, how much memory would that be? Or even SQL Server memory configuration is completed or not. So easy way to find out, you can connect to SQL Server instance. Uh, using SQL Server Management Studio. I'm connected with SQL Server instance SQL test right here. If I wanted to know that how much memory is allocated to my SQL Server instance named SQL test, I can go ahead and right click on that uh, instance and go to properties and then go to memory right here. This is the memory configuration of this particular SQL Server instance called SQL test in my case. So as you can see, the minimum server memory is not configured, it's zero. And maximum memory, you see this huge number. There's no way that you have that much memory on your SQL uh, on this particular server where SQL Server instance, this instance is running. So that means the maximum server memory is not configured either. Uh, the index creation is dynamic right here it will use as much uh, uh, it needs and up here the minimum memory per query is 1 MB so basically th these are just the default setting of SQL Server if you see in your production server if your SQL Server instance has the default setting uh, uh, just like this then that's not a good news you have to configure SQL Server memory minimum and maximum memory in production system otherwise SQL Server have a tendency to grab all the memory it can um, let's say that you have a 8 gig memory on a server and SQL Server instance is installed it can grab all the 8 memory unless it is limited by Windows memory manager so um, basically this is how you find right now we found out that there is nothing really configured as far as SQL Server memory so no allocation is uh, configured so we will configure in a little bit that uh, how to configure minimum and maximum memory of SQL Server let's go ahead and find out what SQL Server is currently using there are a couple ways to uh, find out how much memory SQL Server currently using one is that you can right click if you are in the server in the server where SQL Server, um, um, you know, is installed, you can go and look at the task manager and go in the memory and see the SQL Server uh, up here, the SQL.exe, SQL Server.exe, how much memory is using. That's a one quick view. Uh, but uh, if you're not uh, basically remoted into a server where SQL Server uh, instance is installed, you can go ahead and run this command. Right here, I'll load the command. And... Um, this command will do basically uh, what I did was this is dynamic view right here uh, uh, memory view of in SQL Server I'm just using that and uh, what I'm doing right here is just currently allocated memory of the SQL Server and up here is the total virtual address memory this is the virtual memory that um, it, you know the physical memory it, it tends to the operating system tends to keep it for uh, critical processes so how much is that right now we're interested in that how much memory physical memory is in use right now by the SQL Server instance so if you go ahead and get this everything from this uh, uh, dynamic view right here for the memory you will see a lot more information that you can use in order to basically go and find out but I just m we're interested in currently used memory and also the uh, uh, f uh, minimum memory and maximum memory so we're, we're gonna go ahead and run this command as you can see that currently it's in right here is in MB if you go basically and get from this dynamic view it's in KB so I have converted that in from KB to MB so this is currently used by SQL Server is 350 MB lock memory is not there total virtual memory is available that 134 uh, uh, that it can expand to that much and up here as you can see that uh, memory low and memory high minimum and maximum and and all that kind of good stuff that you could look at this is currently allocated memory using SQL Server Management Studio so let's go back to configuring SQL Server minimum and maximum memory 
this is for production you always should basically configure sql server minimum and maximum memory let's go ahead and right click on the sql server instance go to the properties and go to the memory and up here the minimum memory means that whether any transaction is happening on sql server sql server will keep that memory um, and it'll keep hold on that memory so it's for test and dev system it's okay to have a minimum memory zero that's okay but for production my my view is that you should configure uh, minimum memory as well so for me I'll, i'm going to go ahead and 512 uh, mb uh, I'm going to uh, tell SQL Server that always keep 512 MB even if no transaction is running on, on, on SQL Server. So I'm going to go ahead up here. I'm going to limit SQL Server not to use all the memory of my server. Instead, I am going to go ahead and tell it that um, go ahead and use um, 4 gig of the memory. So this is how basically I'm going to go ahead and limit SQL Server. So once I'm done with this, you can also use SP underscore configure and reconfigure uh, to uh, configure your minimum and maximum memory of SQL Server. Uh, but this is much easier way to do it. And keep in mind that you don't have to restart SQL services. It will start limiting and following your instruction as soon as you click OK right here. So this is how basically you go ahead and uh, configure SQL Server memory. So we went and look at memory configuration view of SQL Server. We went ahead and looked at currently allocated memory in SQL Server. And we also learned how to configure minimum and maximum memory of SQL Server. I hope this video helps.